Well, greetings everyone. Precious the New Jamaican here. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you our whole process of putting in our flooring. Um, as you can see, we went with a tile floor, which was not our original plan. Originally, we were going to just use a um, polished concrete, um, something like you would see when you go to a really nice grocery store, something like that, possibly put um, in some lines with it, make it look like it's towel. But we decided against doing that. Um, one, it was difficult to find someone who um, did that kind of work here. And um, when we did find someone, I believe his machine was down. And um, then he possibly got it working. But... Um, then the price went really up high. <laughs> um, so we ended up, the price was going to be about the same as it would be to um, just get towels. So we just decided to go with towel anyway. Besides, we um, wanted to make sure that we weren't in a situation where the machine went down again and then we were up the creek without a paddle because we had to wait until we got the machine fixed. So forth and so on, we decided to um, mix that idea and just go with towel. Um, so we decided to go with a um, matte finish porcelain towel since porcelain is a lot more durable than ceramic. Uh, the matte finish because that's what we both like. Um, I see that the um, really shiny tiles are all the rage here, but I really don't like those. Raymond doesn't like them. And besides, they are extremely slippery. So we went this route, and um, I think it turned out nice. So also, the floors are not perfectly leveled, uh, which is not uncommon. So you see the brothers having to use um, a lot of thin set in order to build up the floors so that we would um, everything would be leveled off really nicely. So um, in some areas, it was he had to use more thin set than he did in other areas. So that's not uncommon. Um, that's that's what happened here. But we overall, we I think we are pleased. This project, this part of the project, took double the amount of time that uh, we were originally told that it would take. Um, he thought that he could be finished in about thirty days, and it took him approximately two months to finish all of this. So yeah, it took a while. So on to the second bedroom. It's pretty much more of the same. You can just see it going into from the hallway into the bedroom, and there is there's the bedroom right there. So it's pretty much more of the same. This one's com sorry about that finger there. This one's completely done, and um, on to the bathrooms. Now in the bathrooms. Um, you can, I don't know what we're doing there, but um, in the bathrooms, we decided to do sort of like a pebble towel in the shower area. And here is where he was just laying it out. It's not done yet, but um, there, there I believe is the finished prod product. So there you have it there. On to the kitchen and dining room area. Again, this is a, just a big room, so... You know, it's a lot of work. He's a small crew doing doing the job on his own. And um, that's also one of the reasons why it took a lot longer than he anticipated. But, um, <clears throat> well, the truth is, he, he was working fewer hours than he originally said that he was going to work. It's one of those rainy days. And um, so hence the project just took a little longer than he, um, than he originally pulled at us. But, hey, it is what it is. And again, on to the living rooms. Again, yeah, more of the same, um, just one big room. We have an open plan or open concept thing 
in our home. So um, again, it's just take it our time. I forgot the size of these um, tile, but as you can see, they're pretty big. We wanted relatively large tile with the um, thin um, grout line. So that's what we went with. And I believe, yeah, that's still looking out from the um, living room area onto the back area of the um, property or front area of the property, I should say. And then off to the veranda. Now with the veranda, um, we used a different towel, um, also a matte finish, even more um, sturdy or rugged, I should say, or rough than um, the towel that we used inside of the house because, you know, it's, it's somewhat outside. And um, so there is the veranda complete. And the house is completely tiled at this point. So just walking around, this is the second um, bedroom. Yes, the second bedroom. Um, I think at this point there was still maybe a little that needed to be done, but um, I now can't say what that was, but indeed there was a little bit more that needed to be done. And um, I, I guess the baseboards is probably what I'm thinking about. I'm going into the uh, main bathroom. You see the shower there. Uh, then this is the third bedroom slash office that leads right on to the veranda. And I think at this point, we're going to go from the veranda into the dining room area. And you see the kitchen is straight ahead there. And that's the back door leading out. And... Um, that's the living room area that, again, will have its own patio area. Now, outside, this will not be tiled. That's what I'm pointing at. That's going to be just concrete. Since that's a swimming pool there, you know, you go, a lot of times you, if there's tile around a swimming pool, you get out of the pool. It is so slippery. So we're just going to use uh, uh, concrete there. We're just going to concrete it there. This leads to the back door on the utility room there on the right I didn't go any further at this point. It's pretty much the same. So I will see you in the next video.